Hey guys, how's it going? Going to do a quick little session of some how-to soldering. Just showing you the way that I do it, the way that I was taught many years ago. I learned uh, rewiring uh, hot rods and stuff, so wiring is where I got my first start in soldering. First thing you need to do is make sure that the tip of your soldering iron is clean. You use a sponge here a little bit of water and that'll take some of the soot off and then you have this copper mesh that has flux that's impregnated into it and that'll take off excess solder and help clean the tip I don't know if you could see but you see it's a little shiny and that's what you want you want that shiny tip to work with This is your flux paste. I just dip wires in into it whenever I'm just doing uh, bare wires. Sometimes you might have to dab a little on with your finger or with a little brush. But uh, for this, it's pretty simple just to take the end of the wire and dip it in. And if you don't, uh, if you don't use this flux, then your solder is not gonna bond to the metal at all. So what I do is I take a little bit of solder. You have to load the tip of your soldering iron up. So get a little dab of it on there. And I use the solder to put a little tiny strip across the top if it's thicker gauge wiring. Like this. And then you load the tip some more. And solder acts just like oil with cooking. Oil transfers the heat from the pan into your food. Solder is gonna transfer the heat from the soldered iron into the product that you're soldering. And you'll see, as soon as the temperature gets up, all this solder just impregnates the wire and soaks right in. Here's a different kind of wire. This is uh, tend wire, which is designed to help be corrosion resistant and you can solder it just the same way uh, in my experience it takes a little bit longer for these this to heat up this tinned wire but you can still solder it no problem and you just let that heat soak into the wire and you'll see the solder just envelop into the wire itself and completely coat everything. The smaller gauge wire you go here, the quicker this process will be. And this really tiny wire, this is a 22 gauge, I believe. You just barely have to touch it. And once that heat gets in there, it'll just soak up that solder. It's a good idea to always tin your wires if you're gonna be using just the bare tips and be screwing them into things like uh, you know electronic boards and stuff like that. It keeps all your wires all together, no chance of it breaking or arcing out to anything else. And here's a basic butt connection for wiring. So these wire tips have already been soldered. All you gotta do, twist them together and a little touch of the soldering iron and it will bond these two wires together. good pair of these helping hands is always helpful because you need both your hands to do soldering. It's 
bonded, it's strong, it's not gonna go anywhere. You can tape it up, or whatever you need to do. And that's it, that's pretty much it. Pretty simple lesson, just a quick down and dirty, trying to give you guys a little bit of a, some guidance and hopefully make it a little easier if you haven't soldered before. Hopefully it helps. Down below I have links for all the stuff that I use for soldering and some other things that I use for connecting wires. So if there's anything you need, you can look down there and you'll be able to find the exact things that are shown right here in this video. If you guys have anything else that you want to ask or you would like to see me show you, just put it in the comments below and I'll be happy to do so. All right guys, see you later. Thank you.